Chrisley, it's Billy. Oh, sorry. How are you doing? I was trying to get you there. Listen, I'm over in EMI, right? And you know, you know the, you know the guy that. Yeah. Right, he's looking for you. He, I gave him your number, okay? So he's going to be calling you in the next about in the next five minutes. I don't know. I don't know what he wants you for. He just says, look, I need to talk to Christy and it's urgent. So I said, right, okay, can you tell me what it's about? He said, no, I just need to talk to Christy. I don't know, I doubt it, I doubt it. So he wouldn't be that petty, do you know what I mean? Okay, buddy, talk to you. Right, over, over. Christy. Hello, Larry, is it? It's Larry here. How are you? Hey, down, Larry. How's it going? What's I'm very good. Listen, I was talking to uh, Billy there just a minute ago. He got your, I got your number yeah, from Yeah, yeah, he just told me there. That's why I didn't answer for something. I didn't know who it was. I don't I understand. I understand. I do, do the same myself. How's it going? I mean, Listen, I'm very good. Listen, I'm ringing. I'm just ringing to let you know. I'm not ringing for a row. I'm ringing to say that your comments about The Voice I thought were fantastic. Uh, you made some valid points because uh, The Voice is a kind of show that really does in, enhance people's careers. But... Uh, I was wondering, would you be interested in appearing on The Voice? Let me put that one out there for you. I don't know. You see, how could I appear on now after saying it? You know what I mean? Well, this is the thing. I think it would be, it would be fantastic. I mean, you are you epitomise musicianship. You are music. So I thought to have you and the lads on on the final. I was thinking on the final. There's a few quid yeah. in it for you here on this one, and it's. Right, well, look. Let me talk to the band, will you, Larry? And I'll get back to you later on. I'll get back to you today. You'll have to text me a number. Just just to clarify something, I'll tell you what happened, Larry, right? Yeah. I was doing it. I, we, were, we were in the EMI last week. The album's out next week. So we were doing six interviews, and you're kind of, there was one at 10 o'clock, one at past 10. They started just wheeling them in. And I spoke for nearly a fucking hour about the album and all that. Yeah. And right at the end of it, she asked me what I thought of the. That's voice. the way they work, Christy. I know. I know how yeah, they work. Yeah. Well, the whole point was that you know, as all I as all I said was that if I was fucking, I didn't think it was right at the end. Like a lot of them, a lot of them in England are all universal artists. I think on the fucking. The panel. Yeah, but listen. To be honest with you, Christy, I don't. I, I didn't find what your comments offensive at all. You're absolutely right. I mean, that Brezzy guy. To be honest, between yourself and myself, he's a prick. He's an upstart. I know, yeah. Uh, it was him I was actually getting at. It wasn't yeah. even Brian Kelly. Well, he's a, he needs taken down a peg or two. I thought, wipe this cocky smile off his face if you guys were up on stage doing it properly, you know? And it, right. get you on there, show how real musicians do it. We have uh, Paddy Casey on the night as well. Uh, Mickey Joe Hart will probably start things off and then finish with yourselves. Where the chairs are turned the wrong way around, the judges would not not know who it was until like the, the viewers at home would see you performing. But I understand what you're saying. The judges wouldn't know. And what, what, that the, sounds good, yeah. the way to throw them off would be to not perform an Aslan song. So if, well, if well, for look, example, you, if you're, for example, you were doing um, a cover version of some kind, it could yeah, be. Well, if you have the new album, we could even do something off the new album, perhaps. Do you know what I mean? Well, we were thinking a, more of a, a well-known track. You know, maybe something like uh, "You Raise Me Up" or something like that. Uh, 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 something oh. completely left field. Some that, song. That, yeah. Some song okay. that, that Aslan wouldn't normally sing. Right, okay, well, do you know what? It's like a great idea. It is a great idea. All my oh. ideas are great. And I tell I you, know, I'm, I'm, yeah. we were thinking as well, on the night, if they could perform on stools or something like that, very similar to the way... Do West... a Westlife takeoff. Well, of... like, take the mickey out of Westlife, but, do, you know, be better than Westlife than Westlife. You know, show these, right. show these fuckers how it's done, Christy. Yeah. Leave it. Let me, let me say it to the boys. No, I need you... an answer now. I need an answer now. Or we're, right. talking, we're talking 20 big ones here for the band. It's a half an hour's work. You're in, you're out. Good luck. I need you in white suits, on stools, performing You Raise Me Up. Yes or no? Um, oh fuck, it's just a voice say yes, Daddy, and the band don't do it. You know what I mean? Fuck the band. You're the talent. Have some, um, have some balls. Come on. I say yes. I'll see will it, will, it, will it come across. It'll come across hilarious that you're taking the mickey out of Westlife and Westlife sitting in front of you. And Brezzy there pissed off that you're getting the, the spotlight. Fuck him and his good looks. <laughs> so what are you talking? I'm talking 20 big ones, half an hour's work, dressed as Westlife, singing You Raise Me Up, on stools. Okay, go on. I'll tell the lads what doing it. You're doing okay. it. You're willing, you bollocks. You're not doing it. I fucking got you, Dizzer. On the strawberry! <laughs> yeah, I do want for 20 grand. <laughs>
<laughs> Say hello to Jim Jim. <laughs> how are you, Christy? What? Christy, how can I protect you in this crazy world? What? I got you good though. <laughs> hey! Who is this? Billy! You fucking wanker, you. <laughs> Oh, this are fucking great. Yeah. Classic radio. Christy, you're on the strawberry alarm clock on FM104. Come here, Billy. Would you have done it for, for 20 grand? Fucking would you? sure I would have. I was the one that came up with the 20 grand. I'm sure I'd do it for 20 grand and I'd wave it in Brezzy's face. It's so oh, annoying. <laughs> Anyway. Good one, good one, Desire. It's brilliant. It's fucking brilliant radio. <laughs> brilliant radio. Fucking it's deadly. Yeah. I know we are. Christy, I'll send out the white suit, right? You're a pig, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hanging up now. Uh, the Strawberry Alarm Clock on FM 104.